I'm gonna make over a thousand dollars cash in my pocket. How would you like to start making more money in one day than you can working all week long for someone else? Since the 1970s, we've been bombarded with promises of easy wealth and financial freedom. It's 44 years later and the pitch remains the same. Get rich quick with little to no effort. From Tommy Vu and his glamorous yachts to Don LaPree and his tiny classified ads, these infomercials captivated millions with the dream of getting paid while lounging in the sun. But in reality, most of these promises were nothing more than empty words. Tommy Vu had to pay the FTC a half a million dollars just to avoid jail. Kevin Trudeau ended up in jail. And Don LaPree? Today we see similar promises about making money online. And over the last few years, there's been massive hype about making money on Amazon. My goal in this video is to ask a simple question. Is it possible to make passive income on Amazon? Or is it a lie? For centuries, humans have been obsessed with making money without doing anything day to day. Even in medieval times, landowners would collect rent or sell crops grown by peasants. The Industrial Revolution allowed everyday people to buy stocks and shares, owning a piece of a business and earning dividends without daily labor. This was the birth of making money while you sleep. After World War II, people chased the American dream, an idea popularized by James Truslow Adams in his 1931 book, Epic of America. The idea of the white picket fence, suburban life, and home ownership was further cemented by Fannie Mae, the Federal National Mortgage Association. With growing mortgages, bills, and the quest for more, people sought ways to get rich without working until they dropped. This led to a boom in financial products and schemes all promising easy wealth. But with great dreams came great scams. By the 1970s, infomercials promising overnight millionaire status were everywhere. The FCC even banned these misleading infomercials from 1974 to 1981. And in the 80s, Ronald Reagan lifted that ban and infomercials made a big comeback. And that's when guys like Tommy Vu jumped into high gear and made millions. Fast forward to today, and the FTC is cracking down hard on these schemes once again. They're tired of the empty promises and big claims of no work and lots of money. For me, this is something I've thought about a lot. I'm running a company called Marketplace Superheroes where we teach people how to sell stuff on Amazon and make money. And I remember 14 years ago before I got into this world, I was so easily led. I was buying course after course, trying lots of different things and absolutely nothing was any good to me. And ultimately buying into some of these pyramid schemes was what led me to Amazon. Because for the first time when I started in the Amazon world, I saw a real business selling real products to real people. And so for me, this video is important because I wanna put across to you a real picture of what's possible on Amazon and ask the question, is passive income a thing or is it not? So what are the main ways you can make money on Amazon? There's actually three of them. Arbitrage, wholesale, and private label. Let's break down each of these using the following categories. The idea, it's simple. Buy low, sell high. We find products that are sold at a discount or in clearance from an online retailer or an offline retailer. We buy them, we then sell them on Amazon at their full price. Is it passive? We'll get to that in just a minute. First of all, it's important to say you can start this on a small budget. I mean, you can legitimately buy $100 worth of inventory and this can be the thing that will get this up and running for you. That being said, it does require consistent effort and consistent sourcing of more deals. Now, the main activity is finding deals, but the good news is in time, this is something that can be easily outsourced. I mean, once your stock is in Amazon, their automated system largely takes over. So there's very little for you to do day to day once you get your items into the stock. And in terms of the risk factor, it's incredibly low when you do it right. Wholesale involves buying products in bulk from wholesale distributors and then selling those products over on Amazon. As the name suggests, our goal is to buy these products at wholesale prices, so there's actually room in there for us to make a profit when we do sell them on Amazon. The thing here is that it does take a bit of time to find reliable suppliers who have products that fit the bill for this business but there's big profit potential. And the reason for that is because you can actually buy inventory in bulk. 
But what's also fantastic is you can start by buying small quantities of multiple products, you find the winners, and then you buy more of the ones that started making you money. When you compare this to arbitrage, there is a lot more time freedom involved. And the reason for that is because we're able to buy in bulk, but secondly, we're able to rebuy those same items from those wholesale suppliers. Now you will need a bit more upfront cash because most wholesale distributors, they want you to place an order of about $250 to $1,000. But the really good news is, is that you won't have to buy like one or two items, you could buy many different products for that same money. Is it risky? In my opinion, not really. And the reason is because we can start by buying small quantities of many different items. And the worst case scenario really is you're just not making any sales of these things. You gotta cut your price and get rid of them. And finally, there's private label. This is where you create your own branded items and you sell them on Amazon. Now look, this is a bit more difficult because it does involve product research, product development, and also some marketing and some advertising in order to be actually able to make sales on the Amazon platform. But that being said, the income potential for this one is extremely high, higher than both wholesale and higher than arbitrage as well. And the reason for that is because we can can reliably reorder these products again and again from a manufacturer. Also, we are gonna be making significantly higher profit margins because we're ordering direct from a supplier and we are taking that risk to establish a brand new product on Amazon. And one other thing that just doesn't apply to the other ones is you could potentially sell this business one day. You're probably wondering, do we need a lot of money to start this? And of course that depends on what you consider a lot of money, but we are talking 3,000 to 5,000 dollars to get this business established. So as a result of that, it does carry more risk because ultimately we're trying to sell our own product with our own listing. But of course the rewards are much bigger as well. So can you really make passive income on Amazon? Well, certain parts of the process are passive, but ultimately this is an active income opportunity no matter what you do, if you're doing arbitrage, wholesale, or private label. Some parts of these businesses can be automated, like repricing or advertising in the case of private label. And like we said as well, you can outsource a lot of those activities, but this is active income generation at its finest. Remember, no business is truly set it and forget it. And every business, it requires effort, especially at the start. But with the right approach and some dedication, you can and make an actual income selling products on Amazon. But is it fully passive? No, and that's okay, because it's just not meant to be. And if you'd like to discover how to build a real sustainable business on Amazon, go down to the description right now because we've got some incredible resources that are gonna help you do just that.